Have you ever needed to have the ability to filter something in Smartsheet by whether it was in the current month or the current year? So um, it is a wish of mine from a feature request perspective that there are filters within Smartsheet for this. Right now, that does not currently exist. Um, if you're familiar with Smartsheet, you know there are great date filters such as, um, you know, in the past, in the next seven days, in the last seven days, and the list goes on. Um, but there isn't one to determine, you know, filtering down requests or whatever you're trying to, whatever the data is for within the current month and the current year. So I'm going to walk you through an example. So this is a marketing request tracker. This actually came from um, when I did Smartsheet Academy. So it's just a bunch of test data. But you can see we have a date needed by column. And so there, um, you might have a use case in a particular data source that you have to be able to see, you know, requests that are due this month or requests that are due or were completed this year, for example. So I'm going to walk you through the steps to do that. The first thing that we need to do is we need to add a bunch of helper columns. So I'm going to add two helper columns next to date needed by. And this one is going to be um, date needed needed by month. Next one's going to be date needed by year. Okay, we're going to use the equals month formula and select the date needed to calculate what the month is. And I'm going to go ahead and make that a column formula. Then I'm going to use the year, select the date needed by to get the year. And then I'm going to make this a column formula. Okay, now I need a couple other helper columns. Um, I'm going to need three more helper columns. So the next three that I need are, we need to be able to reference. So we're looking at the month that the date that the request is due and the year that the request is due. So now we need to look at what, what is the month, what is this month and what is this year? So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to drop a column in for um, a today formula. Oops, I need to label it today. So I'm going to do equals today. And if I just do parentheses and don't select anything, it's going to do today's date. I'm going to make that a column formula. Now, the most important thing with the today formula is to be aware that you can only use this formula within a sheet that is consistently getting updated and making changes to because the today formula is not going to update on a sheet that's in the background. It will only update if the sheet is resaved or if there is a cell link from another sheet to that sheet that gets updated. So there has to be some type of update in the sheet that today formula is in, in order for that to be active and up to date. So then I'm going to put in what is today's month and what is today's year. I'm just going to do the same thing I did before. And I'm going to get the month for today and I'm going to get the year for today. And I'm going to convert those to column formulas. Okay. So now I need two more helper columns and I'm going to use check boxes. So I'm going to add two to the right and I'm going to call this current month. I'm going to call it current year. I'm going to use an if formula. So I'm going to say equals if the, um, so for month, if the date needed by equals month equals today's month, then check this off. If not, then don't. Okay. I'm going to make that a column formula. And we can see that some of the ones that are for um, May are checked off equals if date needed by year equals today year then check off the box if not then don't all right so you can see all of these are from this year so that's great so again just to just to go through this if formula again for a second so i'm saying if and this is the statement if the date needed by year row is equal to the today year row, then check off the box and you use a one to signal check off the box. If that's not the case, then don't, right? So that's how the if formula works. The first 
statement is what you want it to do, if it's true, and then if it's false. So one for checking it off, zero for not. So if it doesn't match, it's not going to check it off. Awesome. Now, these formulas can be hidden. They don't have to stay in this, in this sheet, um, but I'm just going to leave them for right now. I'm going to go back to my folder. So let's say I want to create a report for my marketing requests to look at requests this year or requests, um, requests due this month. Okay. okay. I'm going to look for that particular sheet. I'm going to check that off. I'm going to select what columns I want to see, date needed by, who it's assigned to, the percentage complete, the status, and so on. Some of this data isn't filled in. Again, this is a test sheet. I don't need the sheet name. Okay. And then I'm going to filter the criteria. So if I want to look at the current month, do this month, I'm going to do current month is checked and current year is checked because it doesn't need to meet both of those criteria. We could also do probably an if and formula to see if they both match, um, but I just keep them separate. I think it's easy and fine to do it this way. So current month is checked and current year is checked, apply. So now it's only showing me requests that are due this month. And then I'm gonna save this as new. Requests due this year. Right, and you do the same exact thing. You just don't need the current month checkbox. So that's a really easy way to pull in from a specific date, and this can be anything. It doesn't have to be marketing requests. Um, it, you can really reference any type of date, but it's just a really easy way that you can add some helper columns and be able to easily filter down um, to a specific date criteria for the current month and the current year. Thank you.